Government supporters turn out in full force in the capital to show they are behind President Nicolás Maduro. On a day generally marked more by opposition forces for establishing democracy in Venezuela by toppling military dictator Marco Pérez Jiménez 59 years ago. Maduro supporters came from every state in the country. They say he's victim of an international conspiracy and that the revolution started by Hugo Chávez is thriving in Venezuela. We took to the street to support everything that this government is doing to improve the country's economic and health situation. There's no need for early elections. If we want to solve the political crisis, we can just wait and have elections when they're scheduled. Not everyone agrees. The Venezuelan opposition was out in full force as well, with organized marches in every state. They are demanding early presidential elections and governor's elections that were scheduled to take place in December. The differences between politicians are solved by voting, and that's why people are on the streets today. We're demanding elections because we're sure that the worst thing Venezuela has seen so far is President Nicolas Maduro. These people are also protesting the extreme shortages that have left supermarkets without food and other basic staples, and pharmacies without medicines. Conditions brought on, they say, by President Maduro. Most Venezuelans should come and protest against this regime that has brought only starvation to all of us. Once more, the national police stopped people from reaching the headquarters of the Electoral Council here in Caracas. And although the Electoral Board authorities called off a recall referendum to us, President Nicolás Maduro this year, opposition leaders say they will continue taking their protests to the streets until the millions of voices of those Venezuelans who want a change are finally heard. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGTN, Caracas.